All right? So Christ went through a lot of stuff. He went through a lot of stuff. We're going to go through the same thing. All right? What does Christ say? If you drink of my cup, uh, what's this scripture? Basically, we're going to go through the same situation as Christ went through, if not worse. All right? Probably won't get hung, I mean, um, hung on a cross or nothing like that. But we're going to go through some stuff. Our family dogging us out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got other camps talking crazy, lying, and all types of persecution against us. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through a lot of stuff. Your workplace, all types of things. Like some people's wives, your husbands. You're going to go through a lot of stuff. You're going to go through a lot of suffering because Christ did it too. So we got to go through the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Read that again. Verse 13. Uh-huh. If we believe, oh, verse, verse 12. 12 verse sorry. 12. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Uh -huh. If we deny him, he also will deny us. So when you deny him, what does that mean? It means that what? You didn't endure. When things got tough, you ran on, you went back into the world. You want, listen, sin, sin feels good. So when things get rough and, we, and, you, and you can't, you want to feel good, you don't want to go through all those trials and tribulations. You're like, you know what? I'm going to go do what I want to do. I'm going to go back into the world and do what I used to do. I'm going to go back in the world and put on those pants. I'm going to go the, going back into the world and, and celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving, Easter, eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You're going to go back into the world. You're denying Christ. But guess what? When that time comes, he's going to deny you. You didn't sit there and suffer. You didn't suffer. You didn't go through your trials and tribulations and endure you didn't do none of that. You ran. That's why the scripture said in Sirach 2, um, go back to Sirach 2, hold that. I don't want to butcher it. Matter of fact, I got it. Hold it. I got it. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Don't be that brother or that sister. When trouble comes, you want to run, don't be that person. All right? Don't deny Christ. These things, you going through trials and tribulation, you're supposed to go through them. And yeah, it gets overwhelming. It gets hard. That's why we got a body here to lean on. That's what we got them for. That's what we got each other for. All right? Give me a uh, Ciroc 40. Was I done with that? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, give me Ciroc 40. Sirach chapter 40, verse 1. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 40, verse 1. Come on. Great travail is created for every man. Uh, you said what? Great travail is created for every man. It said great travail is created for every man. We all going to go through something. You can't look at a brother next to you and don't think that he ain't going through some stuff too. All right? That's why you can't deal with, like when you're going through tri tribulations, or the most high God dealing with you, and you got a stink attitude when you come in on the Sabbath. You don't want to deal with your brothers. You know what I'm saying? You're not dealing with them. You don't want to be around. You're separating yourself. That ain't the spirit to be in. All right? We all going through stuff in here. But us coming together and dwelling in unity, that's what's supposed to relieve us from that. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to feel good when that happens, when we come together. My brother comes, comes by the house or whatever, and we sit down, we go over the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? We see each other. It should be, it's supposed to be all love. Don't get that spirit on you, all right, where you're going through things and you don't want to deal with nobody. You want to separate yourself, but that's when the devil get a hold to you. That's when the devil grab a hold to you, shake you up, and you be doing all kind of crazy stuff. All right? Come on. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Great travail is created for every man, uh -huh. and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. To the, a, a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. That's us. We're going to go through it. I'm telling you, we're supposed to. Don't come in this truth thinking that it's going to be picnic baskets and, and, and gummy bears. No. That's Christianity. You should have stayed in Christianity. All right? Everything is good over there. Just, just believe on Jesus. You ain't got to do no works, no commandments. 
You can do all the uh, American holidays, all right? You can do all the American holidays, right? But you don't keep no, no high holy days, and you think you're going to the kingdom. No, absolutely not. Sorry. All right, come on. The more to that? Go yes. ahead. From the day that they go out of their mother's womb? Uh-huh. From the day we come out of our mama's womb, we're going to go through things. All right? Come on. To the day that they return to the mother of all things. So we, listen, we're going to go through things for our, our whole our whole lifespan. Our forefathers went through stuff. All right? Joe, matter of fact, give me, let me get that. Give me Hebrews 6. I think this is it. It talks about Abraham. You think that is? Hebrews 6. Yep, Hebrews 6 and give me verse uh, 13. Book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 13. Come on. For when God made, for when God made promise to Abraham, uh-huh. because he could swear no greater... He swear by himself. Come on. Saying, surely, bl- surely, blessing, blessings, I will bless thee. Uh-huh. And multiplying, I will multiply thee. So he, he said he was going to have many, many nations going to come out of Abraham, all right? Many nations going to come out of Abraham. He blessed Abraham. He was perfect in the sight of the Most High God. He didn't want to give the covenant. He had a covenant with Abraham, all right? Come on. And so, uh-huh. after he had patiently endured. He said, and what? After he had patiently endured. So you think Abraham didn't go through things either? It said patiently endured. That means he had to go through something. He was going through it. But guess what? He kept the faith in the most high God. Kept the faith. He continued to do the commandments. All right? Come on. He obtained the promise. He obtained the promise. That's what we got to go to. We, we want to attain the promise. We're going to have to suffer. We're going to have to suffer. We're going to have to endure. All right? Just like Abraham, our forefather did. Job endured. Daniel. Jeremiah. You know what I'm saying? All our forefathers endured their trials and tribulations. We got to do the same. All right? Um, give me 1 Corinthians 11.32. 1 Corinthians. Come on. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 32. Uh-huh. But when we are judged, uh-huh. we, are cha- we are chastened of the Lord. When we what? We are chastened of the Lord. When we are judged, we are chastened by the Most High God. The Most High God is dealing with us. We're going to get judged. But it's gonna be from the from the chastening of the most high, all right? We're gonna go through a lot of stuff, and that's our judgment. He chastened us. That's our judgments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even when that day comes, we gotta get judged. It is what it is for the things that we've done wrong. So we still gotta endure. We we still gotta fight, endure, and get through our trials and tribulations because they're not gonna stop. As you gain in understanding, as you get Grow in understanding and in, in, in years of experience, you're gonna go through more stuff. It gets harder because you'll know a lot better. You know a lot more. You know better, even more than what you did before. You just know how to deal with it differently. All right? You don't let it get to you. You know the most high God dealing with you. You gain that experience and patience. So now when you got trials that come upon you, you know how to deal with them properly. All right? You know who to lean on. You understand? So uh, real quick, I want to give an example of some real faith right here. Give me 2 Maccabees chapter 7 and the 20th verse. This is a person that's really going through it right here. You know, and I'm not going to go all the way through it. If you want to read 2 Maccabees chapter 7, read the whole chapter, what this woman went through and her sons. All right? So read uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 20. The book of Maccabees chapter chapter 7, verse 20. All right. But the mother was marvelous above all uh-huh. and worthy of honorable memory. And worthy of honorable memory. That's why she's written in the book for what, he, what she went through. 
Come on. For when she saw her seven sons. When she saw what? Her seven sons. She saw seven of her sons. Come on. Slain within the space of one day. Killed all in one day in front of her. Tortured. She's seen it all. She's seen her seven sons tortured and slain before in one day. You know what I'm saying? Most people will give up the goal. They, they'll be done. They'll do whatever it is that you need to do to, to, to save the rest of her sons, regardless of what it is. You will, you will commit some sin just so you can save your sons. She's like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, I'm not going for that. I got hope in the Father. You know what I'm saying? Come on, read that. Start at the top. All right, verse 20. But the mother was marvelous above all uh -huh. and worthy of honorable memory. Come on. For when she saw her seven sons slain with the space of one day, uh -huh. she buried it with a good courage. She did what? She buried it with a good courage. She buried it with good courage. Because she's seen the glory in that. I ain't going to lie. That will be hard for me to see. I'm just, I'm just keeping it 100, bro. That, that will be hard for me to see and go through. And she buried it with good courage. Why? Because she knew where her sons, her sons was about the most high God. They knew. She taught her kids the commandments of God. They had faith. Right. They had hope. So they understood what was going on. They understood this is what I got to go through. But I'm going to obtain the kingdom, though. And she understood what they was going through. Come on. Because of the hope that she had in the Lord. It said because of the hope she had in the Most High God, she had good courage after seeing seven sons being slain. You think the issues you're going through right now is compared to that? And you want to not deal with your brother? You got a stank attitude? You fall out the dang truth? But this woman lost seven sons, and she kept the faith. That's next level right there. Come on. Verse 21. Uh-huh. Yea, she exhorted every one of them in their own language. You said she, she did what? She exhorted every, every one of them in her own she, language. She even exhorted them. She exhorted these brothers. She exhorted her sons because she knew what, what was going to happen. They was going to be delivered. They was going to go to the kingdom. Or they was going to come back and put their foot in, in Esau's behind, as it talks about. Come on. Filled with courageous spirits. Filled with courageous spirits. Come on. And stirring up her, her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach. So she took it like a champ. She seen that and was like, listen, all right, I got you. This is happening for a reason. My son's got to go through that. All right? They got to go through that trial and that tribulation. But guess what? The kingdom is obtaining for them. That's a next level faith. They talking about that's enduring. Anybody else would have folded. That's the type of faith we got to have. We got to be that stern. We got to endure that much. Come on. She, she said unto them, verse 22. Uh -huh. I cannot tell how you came in, in my womb into my womb. No, uh, for I for I neither gave you breath for nor life. Uh huh. Neither was I, was it I that formed the members of every one of you. Uh huh. Verse twenty three. So she's saying, listen, the Most High God created you. He brought you in this world. He formed you. Come on. But doubtless, the Creator of the world who formed the, the generation of man uh -huh. and found out the beginning of all things, uh -huh. will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again. He said, the most high God going to give you breath and life again. Don't worry about it. The most high God going to give you life again because he created you. That's the faith we got to have, man. All right, when we're going through our trials and tribulations, it's something the most high God is dealing with us. To purge all that wickedness, that sin up out of us. All right? To get us right so we can obtain the kingdom of heaven. All right? Uh, it's another scripture I want. Uh, start at verse 39. 
Uh-huh. Verse Second 30. Maccabees chapter 7, verse uh, 39. Uh-huh. Then the king, being in, in a rage, handled him worse than all the rest. So that was the last son. If you read up, if you read that chapter, he he basically mangled him up really bad. He he got it the worst because he the one that was ready. He was ready to die. If you read the story, he was ready to go. Like let's make it happen. You ain't doing it fast enough. All right, come on. And took it grievously mm -hmm. that he was mocked. Come on, because he mocked him. You can't do nothing to him. You can't do nothing to me. The most I got going to give me life again. Come on. So this man died undefiled and put his whole trust in the Lord. Put his whole trust in the Lord. That's the faith we got to have. Come on. Last of all, after the sons, the mother died. So the mother died as well. She's seen all her sons die, and she died as well. And she knew. She kept the hope. She kept the faith. We got to do the same things, all right? The stuff that we be going through be petty stuff. We just got to get through it. We be doing it for years and years. Now we got to purge that up out of us. Right. All right? We've been going through a lot of things, little stuff. This right here, this is major. And brothers and sisters is falling out of dump, out of, for nothing. Leaving the truth, leaving the fight. When it's obtainable for you, it's right there. You just got to endure. The kingdom is ours. We just have to endure and keep his commandments, all right? That's my time with 15 minutes with the captains. I hope y'all get edified by this class. I wish I could go further, but I'm going to do, do another class, bro. Depth into it. But listen, shalom, brothers and sisters. Most high in Christ bless. I love y'all. Uh, my name is Captain Palu, and to my right, Officer Daniela. Shalom, most high in Christ bless. Shalom, most high in Christ bless. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.